Hey guys, Harv here, creator of the Downtown Zuzu mod, among others. And today, uh, I'm going to be starting a new series. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to get started creating your own mod for Sadi Valley. So, I've just got a little checklist here. Obviously, there's going to be more stuff as the series goes on. But, yeah, this is what I'm starting with. So, first up, you have to decide what type of mod you want to make. So, um, say you want to add an NPC or a location or an item or a crop or, you know, anything. So you have to decide what type of mod you want to make. For that, uh, we're going to just start off making a simple location mod. But, you know, they're easy to add and, you know, they're fun to explore, all that, all that kind of thing. And then, you know, as the series goes on, we'll move on to other types of mods and maybe expand upon each mod. So, now that we've decided that we're making a location mod, we're going to create our first content.json and manifest.json files. We're going to use a code editor for this. So, you know, pick your code editor of choice. I'm going to link a few good ones down in the description, a few I recommend. Personally, uh, unless it's a C sharp mod, uh, which we're not doing yet. I would recommend using Visual Studio Code, which I'll uh, link down below. So, go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. No, not Visual Studio. <laughs> Sorry. Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and open that up. Right. Now that we've got Visual Studio Code up, I'm going to go to File new file, and now we've got this new file, just completely blank. Let's select a language, type in JSON, JSON. There we go. Now, you've got your first JSON file. We're going to go ahead and start off with the manifest.json. That's the simplest, you know, it's like the base. Every single mod has this. So, the framework we're going to be using for our mod is a content patcher, which is why we have a content.json. Other mods use other sorry, other frameworks use different uh, main say files like bus locations. I think has a bus.json train uh, train station has trains uh, train stops.json, and then there's also bus stops and other you know crazy ridiculous <laughs> frameworks that you can use. But we're just going to start off with a simple content patcher mod because they're really easy to make, they're really fun to use. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do, make sure you have Smappy downloaded or SMAPI, whatever you prefer to say. So we're going to go ahead and download Smappy. So download that. Uh, then once you've downloaded that, you'll see a folder and there'll be lots of download, you know executables. So if you're on Windows you'll do the, the dot .bat I think it is. If you're on uh, Mac you'll use the dot .command and I think if you're on Linux it's also a dot .command or some other type of um, download file but if you're on Linux you should really know how to do this anyway. <laughs> anyway uh, moving on content patcher Make sure you have Content Patcher downloaded as well. This is the framework that we're going to be using. So go here, Manual Download. Obviously, make sure you have Smappy installed. And then Download, and then put that into your Mods folder. Okay. Right. Now that we have all that set up, we're going to move on to the Manifest.json. Now, instead of writing everything as you would in normal JSON, like name. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to use a template because that's much easier to start from. So, right here, manifest. This one. <laughs> I will link this down below because this site's got lots of you know useful information, other things if you want to add anything on there. So go ahead and paste 
this one, which says for a content pack, which is what we're creating. Snappy mods are different, we'll go on to those probably later on in the series. Then you see C-sharp. So content pack, you can do without any prior coding knowledge, it's pretty simple. Snappy mods, you need to know C-sharp. You know. So anyway, we're going to be doing a content pack, so go ahead and copy this, paste into Visual Studio Code or whatever, uh, whatever other code editor you're using. Name. We're going to go ahead and call this village or, you know, whatever. Your mod is called, say, yeah, village. That'll, that'll do for now, I guess. Author. You're going to go ahead and put your name in, your, your Nexus username. Uh, username. Uh, hopefully. If you haven't got a Nexus account, go on to nexusmods.com and just make one real quick. Version. For now we're going to leave this at 1.0.0. We use semantic versioning, so it has three digits and every update you increase it. Depending on like the, the severity of the changes. If it's like 2.0 or maybe 1.1 or if it's just a bug fix or something then 1.0.1. Right. Description. You can put whatever you want in here, but just for simplicity, we're going to put simple location mod for testing. Right, perfect. And now here, in this unique ID box, go ahead and put, you know, you could put your author username or a nickname or anything. So I'm just going to go and put my Nexus username. And then a dot. After this dot, you're going to put in the name of your mod or something else like that. So, village. That's unique. No other mod will have that, probably. <laughs> if any other mod has that, what is going on? Update keys. For now, just go ahead and sorry, go ahead and put two quote marks in here like this, and then put nexus. And then a colon, and then three question marks. For now, that just means that you don't have any update keys yet, because uh, we haven't uploaded the mod yet. Update keys are pretty useful. So whenever you post an update to your mod, people that have your mod installed will receive like a notification saying that your mod has an update, and then people can go and update your mod. It's pretty useful. Content pack four. Um, if you're making a content pack for a different mod, like JSON assets or you know, any other mod, then you'll change that to that. But for now, we're making content patch mods, so we'll leave it as that. So, go ahead, save as. I'm going to make a folder here. Uh, make a folder on my desktop called Village Tutorial Mod. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure you have it in that. And go ahead and call this Manifest. Make sure it's saved as type JSON. Save. Then go ahead and see here, you've got your village tutorial mod. V manifest, and then the type must be JSON file. Yeah, and then you're all set. Now we've made the manifest, we're going to move on to the content.json, which is a little bit more complex. Okay, now our manifest.json is done. I'm going to go ahead and make another JSON file. Select the language, make it JSON. JSON. Okay. Now that we've got our manifest.json and our future content.json, we need to know what to put in our content.json. This is another template we're going to be using. It's this, this one is the one we want. It's just this bit for now. Obviously, we'll do all this other bit later. So go ahead and copy that bit and just paste it in. If there's a red line underneath your, uh, underneath this line with the, the slashes, just ignore it. That's perfectly fine. That is, you know, it's a meaningless error because it says comments are not permitted in JSON. But they are. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. But Smappy completely allows them. Perfectly fine. Okay. Obviously, our location is not going to be called custom example mod Abigail Closet. No, that's just not. Why would we call our, uh, our location that? We're going to call it custom village because that's what the name of our mod is. You know, adding a little village or whatever. 
from map file. For now, we're going to set this as assets slash map dot tmx. Uh, we're not actually making the map yet. This is all just you know, precautionary stuff. We will go on to making the map in the next episode. Make sure you add um, a curly brace after this, because uh, the example one doesn't have one there. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this episode. We've got our basics set up, we've got our manifest.json, and we have our uh, content.json. So go ahead and save content. Make sure it's saved as type JSON. Save. In our folder, we have this manifest and content content.json. And there you go. Now you have the first two files that are going to take you to your mod making career. Career. Not really a career. You're not making money out of it, really. <laughs> uh, legacy, we'll say. Yeah, we'll say, we'll say legacy. That's, yeah, that'll do. So, yeah, we have content and manifest.json. Ignore this assets folder for now. We're not going to be doing anything in that until the next episode. And that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. Sorry if it's a bit slow. I did make a few mistakes, but just, you know, bear with. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions. And if I can't, or you know, if you have any other questions or whatever, feel free to go ahead and join the, um, the Stardew Valley Discord server. There's a bunch of really helpful people on there. They, you know, they love to help out with making mods. It's where I started out making mods, like the start of this year, I think it was. Jeez, nine months ago. Good lord. <laughs> but yeah, they're really helpful, uh, you know, and friendly. So go and say hello to them. And you might see me there. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much everything. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.